Okay, and we are back with some more Sonic action. As you remember last time, we was in Marble Hill Zone. I think that's what this place is called. Um, let's just go and find a few secrets. I last time I was actually going to record it straight through with um, without any breaks, but unfortunately it got a bit too late here, so um, I had to um, jet off and uh, start recording today, but today we're going to finish the game and um, we're in the third zone whoops, better be careful here we're in the third zone, so we're quite close to actually completing the game at the moment he's hiding up in there, let's go um, I just have this weird idea, because I'm actually sat back on my bed right now while I'm recording this and uh, I was thinking about getting like one of those window remote control windows remote controls where you can um um well we can bounce on this guy. oh what's the chances of that we can bounce on this guy but I was he hitting in the wrong place yeah one of those windows remote controls where I could just point at the TV and just like maybe I could like start and stop my recording software that way or something but uh oh well but uh, we're gonna head through this level um it shouldn't take us too long. Um, there is a boss at the end of this, which is a flying boss, where um, Tails helps you defeat um, Dr. Robotnik. It's quite interesting to watch, so I'm looking forward to getting to that bit. Um, hopefully I won't be losing any more lives, well any lives at all during this gameplay, but excuse me if I do, I do try my best to uh, strive at these old Sonic games. It kind of gets you where it hurts when you kind of fail at something you spent so many Childhood, childhood hours playing, I guess. But up we go. Okay, we're gonna have to jump off here. Unlucky for some tails, isn't that correct? Hmm. So as you can see at the right of this video, I actually decided to do this after I started, after I rendered the videos and I wanted to re-render them, but if you want to skip to part one, if you've missed that already, just please do so by clicking on the annotation. Um, if you come here to find the final part, you can actually do that as well, just bounce by here. Um, this video is like interlinked, so if you want to go from one part to another, just feel free to do that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get here in time, nope, I actually failed. Let's continue going up if we can do so. Another one of those bouncy guys. I think stereotypically people just don't like tails, and I think this game actually, um, um, well, not just this game Sonic 3, but some of the other Sonic games too, but that does sort of encourage people's. Um, negativity towards Tails purely because he derps out a lot in this, but that's just the the AI of the game, the programming of it. Unfortunately, um, when when Tails actually got his first, um, well, we can go through here. I think Tails actually got his first um, sort of characterization in the game when S Sonic Adventure came out. Um, but before then, people just hated on Tails purely because of. Um, the way the AI of the game is, um, which kind of is not cool at all. <laughs> right. Um, as you know, these are these stages are where you collect the um, the Chaos Emeralds. Um, they do get harder as you do them. There was a dead end up there, so I decided to pattern it back down through. Right, if we do these, whoops, yep, this is getting faster now, definitely, so I need to concentrate on here, um, pretty much, I doubt that I will be able to get another Chaos Emerald, but um, I will give it my best shot, the longer you take as well, um, the faster it gets, no, he straightened himself back out and went forwards. I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who can um, conquer those stages, but uh, for me, I pretty much, I didn't quite understand the concept of those stages until later on in the game, uh, when I completed it multiple times. Let's just go down. 
I didn't understand that you could jump over those things and the actual 3D aspect of the game too was a bit mind-boggling considering uh, this was on a 32-bit console. Oh, it's too late. Leave him. I think there's some more spikes down here somewhere. Some more metal balls, I mean. Yes, there is a metal ball right over here. Get off the spikes. Whoa. I don't think I've been this way before. Or maybe I have. I actually completed this game not too long back. So um, I'm quite surprised I can't remember these routes at the moment. Um, this level can be quite tedious though, so saying that, I'm mean, saying it all in innocence, there is a lot of routes in uh, this game you can actually follow to um, get to the end. Let's just continue like so. Nope, not enough rings unfortunately, but let's just continue going. Mm. That was such a glitch. You gotta be careful for the, the the sharp pieces of rock right here and that. That was really close. Then. Bing. Don't need any extra points at the moment. The aim of this walk. Well, the aim of this is just to walk through the games, the levels, and the acts. Okay, so we're at Act 2. Okay, so here. And we're up. Up here, please. There we go, they pull you up. Um, I may actually start speeding up now. No! Oh no, no, I lost all my rings. Damn. Right, we got one, we're okay for the meantime. Oh, you, you gotta be knuckles to get through that bit too. Yeah, so in this game, um, in this level actually, Robotnik has got a digging device on him which he's sort of like corrupting the landscape and um, we'll see sooner on in this act that um, he'll start ripping the ground apart and start making it a little bit difficult for us to uh, get around the landscape so uh, but we'll find out sooner on let's make some more steps love the soundtrack of this game too. I'd be really interested to see any like modern day like orchestrated version of this um, soundtrack. If anyone knows anything like that at all though, just let me know in the comments. Um, I probably sound quite monotone with my um, my commentary today, but uh, that's purely because of um, the concentration I put into the game, so uh, I hope you don't mind that. <laughs> oh, what's the chances? I'm actually recording this in HD too, but um, I'm c quite curious to know whether uh, to whether that's actually going to be any beneficial for the actual YouTube upload. Who knows? His tail's stuck down there. I'm sure I saw him stuck down there a minute ago. I can hear him jumping. Up we go. I hope you've been enjoying the Mario Kart too. Um, I'm slowly working my way through that game. There's only three, there's four cups you can win in the game, so my goal is to win all four. And uh, that's going to be it for Mario Kart. Um, if you'd like me to win any of the uh, um, side questy things in that, just let me know as well. Um, I just thrown out a bunch of random videos hopefully you guys are liking them like I said I, 
Like when I was younger and I would play games on the Christmas holidays, I'm pretty much doing that, but sharing that with you guys on YouTube. Okay, so. Whoa, get off the spikes. Okay. Oh, I just knew it. Okay, the door should be open over here. Well, <laughs> mm hmm. Yep, whatever. As long as I'm not dead, that's the concern. That time I need to go. Yeah. No, that's where I came from before. Da -da -ba -ba. Da -da 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 -da. Here we go. Something weird is gonna happen in a moment. Oh no! Okay, let's continue going this way. That's a fake spike for the on the right. Should open these up. Thank you very much. Be very careful, something's gonna happen by here. Watch out for the spiky rocks. Okay, he's gonna be changing the landscape now, so we need to be quite um, fast at this bit before we manage before we get crushed. Break. Okay, we need to get out of here. As you can see, the roof is coming down on us. There's a section just over here where we need to get through desperately. Right by here. And this one here. I think we're quite clear now. Nope. Okay, we can wait here till we... Um, till the falling ground falls down around us. And we're done. Come, we're, we're very close now to the final boss. Oh, that was so close timing on that was immaculate. Yeah, we're very close to the final boss now. We don't need any more rings at the moment. This is fake. You can always tell the fake spikes because they, they look slightly different from the normal ones. Here we go, final boss now. And plus you can usually remember um, the, the actual fake spikes if you've played through this game about two billion times already. So he's gonna plunge this land. We're gonna give him a cheeky little hit and then we're gonna let the ground fall beneath us. And um, what's gonna happen now is that we're gonna be flying around with tails. Tails will pick us up every time too. But, um, so what we have to do is get above him and hit him directly on top like this. Uh, we have to do it multiple times so this counts. So that's the first hit. Hit him right in the face by here. Second hit. And then we just lost all our rings. <laughs> okay, he's gonna come down from above now. Okay, that's four hits. Uh, they do say to stay in the middle of the screen, but sometimes when he does... What? What? <laughs> he just caught me when I landed back on him. They say to stay in the middle of the screen when that is happening. But uh, you have to be careful because Robotnik sometimes comes up from underneath you. So uh, you have to be quite careful at that stage. Okay, let's do it again. Let's get past this guy. We need to collect as many rings as we can at this section. Yep. Okay, so we've got all those. I think that may be all the rings. There may be a few more just up here. Yep, so we've got... Bosses like this, you don't really need too many rings because the chances of you catching them um, is quite slim. 
because we're in the air, so even if I had like 200 rings, I'm just gonna just gonna end up not being able to get them back again. Okay, got two cheeky hits on him there. So he's gonna be straight in front of us this time because we're obviously chasing him. Make sure we get enough. It sometimes tails actually recatches you again if you land in the correct place. So we do have to be careful here. There we go. So that is three hits or four. It's gonna come down on us now. Oh tails! You push <clears throat> tails put me right on top of him then. Okay, we've done it. Always miss out for the spike the spiky bit and always stay away from the actual um, stay away from the actual blades themselves okay so we're on the next boss now carnival night zone I do enjoy the music in this world. <clears throat> I think we can just sprint for this one. Um, I don't think there's anything too technical we have to do. I know water is incorporated into this world as well. Electricity and water. Go through that one. There mm -hmm. we go. Uh. Okay, these we just need to continue jumping. I'm assuming the underside of this is balloons. Balloon. Bonus stage. Time for an additional life, possibly. Oh, the tails are screwed there. Tails totally demolished that, so we couldn't take advantage but possibly having an additional life. Let's go on down here. Let's see what happens. Electronic bats. Let's fling ourselves around here. Give me the power. Keep going. I think we're getting close to the water sections now. That was my balloon. That balloon had my name on it.
Okay, we're at the boss. This boss is quite tricky. <clears throat> Especially if you don't know what to do. Basically, this metal, the spinning thing comes off it. Um, the goal is actually to jump on top of it like so and stay on it for the entire duration. Um, the actual blade damages um, the robot when it finally makes itself back to it. So we'll, we'll do this and hopefully you won't get damaged along the way. So when it comes back to us we need to jump back on it again. At the same time as staying away from... Okay, so Tails jumped on it then. This reminds me of a giant game of Tetris. So we just have to stay away from it like that and the blade will damage it over the course of time. Um, there's nothing Tails or Sonic can physically do. Unfortunately, Okay, we can get back on top. Whoops, we missed. That's not cool. Okay, we're back on top. So... I couldn't even get a ring from that. Come on, damage it. What is the chances? Last time I did that, I did it literally within a few seconds. I think that was just, um... That must have just been an unlucky run there, unfortunately. So let's give it another go with five rings. So we're gonna jump back on top of the blade again. Hopefully it's not gonna go around in such random places. Well, okay, we lost, we lost our ring there, we couldn't do anything. Let's try again. So the idea is to get the, the robot to attack itself. And just leave poor Tails, get on with it. So, like this. Oh, I was chasing my ring. Okay, let's try it again. And miraculously, we only have one left, one life left. Which is quite, quite not cool. Um, this part three is going to be kind of long. Um, I did try and time the episodes out right, but uh. When things like this happen, um, you can't really <clears throat> you can't really be prepared for it. So, um, this episode, episode three, is going to be quite long. And the next episode is going to be a little bit shorter, I should think, or maybe about the same length. There we go, we just hit it then when the thing was out. Ooh! Trap me in the corner. Okay guys, that's gonna be it for today. Next time I will catch up to this very point and we shall continue like last time. So thanks for watching guys and I shall be seeing you next time with part four of Sonic 3.